Next and final thing. iCloud. Yeah, we saw it coming. We saw we it coming. Saw it coming. Mm-hmm. And okay, so this is uh, there's a lot to talk about here, but we'll try and concise it a little bit. It's integrated with uh, all of the OS, yeah. uh, be it the desktop and uh, iOS. Yeah, it's um, replacing all mobile me's features, isn't it, as well? That's all gone. Um, and he, he was actually making fun of himself and mobile me. He doesn't do that a lot. And this was Steve Jobs doing this part of the presentation. He said, so he was saying, iCloud is this new service and it just works, he said. And then he said, but why should I believe them? They are the ones who brought me mobile me. Yeah. Kind of making fun of himself. Yeah. And he said, mobile me wasn't our finest hour. And definitely it wasn't. Uh, he brought a lot of problems as soon as he came out. Uh, but the people that use it paid uh, whatever, 60, 70 quid for it. Um, and, you know, they obviously got it justified, otherwise they wouldn't yeah, pay for it. Because there was something there that they wanted. And uh, iCloud is, is bringing doing that. it better. Remember last week, Alex, we said Apple has, has to make the core features of this whatever cloud service they call it free. Okay. Because yeah. it has to be integrated with the OS. If it's not free, it won't be on the core experience. And that's what Apple wants people to enjoy. Out of the box, yep. perfect experience. Yeah. So it is free. Yes, yeah, so everything works. Like you say, you're syncing um, on everything, mail and calendars and everything. So contacts um, will sync. Yep. Calendar will sync. Mm-hmm. You can also calendar share with somebody else. He gave a demo of how he could share with his wife, a meeting, or whatever. Mail, uh, so they will still provide you with a me.com mail, right. apparently for free now, uh, but that will work. No ads. Um, also, App Store will be synced in the sense that you can now go and see the purchase history of all your apps. So yeah. I did that with the, uh, that actually is working now. Yeah, that's on the, already, isn't it? So on the iPad, I went there and I saw all the purchase history for my uh, my apps and I could see all my iPhone apps on the uh, yeah. on, on my iPad apps and you just click on something and it's already if you've not got it on there you can get installed. it installed you can also yeah. have a button there that says automatically install apps if it's bought on another device so if I buy something on my iPhone I can set it up so that so that my iPad installs it straight away as soon as it's bought yeah iBooks okay. so if you buy one book in one side yeah it will show up everywhere else. Everything synced across, yeah. Kind of whisper sync technology is also there. Whereas, like, uh, I think they already had this. I'm pretty sure they did. But I'm not absolutely yeah. uh, 100% sure, but I'm 90%. Uh, something, same thing that's, that Kindle has been advertising for a long time. You read a book, you get to a page, yeah. you're fed up, you want to pick it up on a different device later on, you, you can. bookmarks or where are you? I thought they had that before, but yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, backup. Yeah, big thing. Not only does the backup work over Wi-Fi to your iTunes and your Mac, it now works to the cloud. Mm-hmm. So this is great for one particular reason. When you back it up, and it backs up once a day, all the important stuff, so camera, roll, that means videos and uh, photos, the app data, so if you use an app and you have yeah. whatever, um, device settings and all that important stuff goes into the cloud. So if for some reason you have to kind of, well, you buy a new iPhone or your iPhone goes crazy and you need to kind of format it if you've ever done that, then when you get your iPhone or new iPhone in your hands, you just type in your Apple ID and password and everything will be back without you having to connect one cable to the 30 pin connector. There you go. So that's great, isn't it? Um, where are we now? Yeah, so obviously that's kind of what well, the backup's a big thing, isn't it? So that's, they, that's great to see. So uh, for the once like setup goes, it's good. Uh, documents is also something that they, they talked about. This syncing, is a big deal. Because um, obviously they brought out um, Keynote and Pages and everything uh, for the iPhone. Yep. So that's on there now as well. Uh, so what this does is it, basically a Dropbox replacement. Yeah. Um, so Documents will, if you're using an app, again, this is something that it's free incredibly free um and uh, developers will be able to implement this if you have an app you're writing something on that app uh the developer will be able to save that to the cloud yeah and you go to a different device and use the same app but the ipad version this time your file will be there and there's still a lot of questions regarding this is how would you then if you want to work on that same file but on a different app how would you pass it on 
will the app, uh, APIs provide that kind of functionality? Mm. We don't really know at this point. How would you move that file to a computer other than email it, which is like last century? Um, you don't know yet. Well, we, we don't know. We'll have to see how that works. But it seems to be app-specific instead of folder-specific or folder-determined uh, like we have on desktop machines. Yeah. So there's a five gig limit, isn't there, on what you can upload to the cloud, um, which obviously... Yes, true. Even though those five gigs only count for the documents, the... I want to say the calendar and the mail. Right. So everything else, like... Uh, well, we better carry on here because we, we're going to jump, uh, going to jump over some things. Uh, photo stream is something that doesn't count for the five gigs. Yeah. But what is photo stream, Alex? Photo stream. Good question. Um, obviously, this is something that's very uh, welcome to us. Um, taking any photos, it will kind of automatically uh, upload them if you like, uh, and well, back them up. And there's a thirty day period, isn't it? So you can then, you know, allow them and add them to uh, camera roll and stuff on whatever device or wherever, an album, um, and save it kind of thing. And that's kind of on every device, uh, Mac and PC and, and everything really, isn't it? That app that will in- integrate all your photos everywhere. Really. So just to give an idea, you uh, out and about with your iPhone, you take a few photos, and those are all stored in the cloud for mm-hmm. 30 days. Yeah. Um, and then the automatically are sent to all of your other devices, PC included. You go into the, um, what is it? It goes into, because there's no iPhoto on the PC, it goes into the pictures folder, whatever. Uh, But on the Mac, you'll go to the iPhoto. On the iPad, it will go to the photos library. Uh, The iPad and the iPhone will store the last thousand pictures because of space uh, restrictions. The Mac will have all of them and the PC will have all of them. But let's say on the iPad, you took some pictures on the iPhone and they show it on your iPad and you really want to keep them, you can. Just move it to album and it stays, it sticks there. Um, so this is all free, which is kind of surprising. And it doesn't count to your 5 gig allowance. Uh, I'm also, I'm just thinking in your documents, if you go over the 5 gig, will Apple give you an option yeah. of paying a bit more? And, and will get- you be able to prioritize which ones you do want on the cloud and which ones you don't if you've gone too far as well yeah this there's a lot of questions uh, i suppose apple is like slowly figuring this out i love photo stream that this is a really good idea taking a photo on one side and it only works by wi-fi only though uh but you take a photo and it's everything else including the apple tv apple tv is, does does now support photo stream as well um so that's cool to see even though it's not really necessary because the Apple TV will grab everything from your Mac, and if everything is synced to your Mac, you will see all the pictures there as well. Uh, no video, though. Uh, yeah. You couldn't expect, really, because they're giving you this for free. So for them to store Quite video would be kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, so if, to take advantage of some of these things that we mentioned, you would need iTunes 4.3. iOS um, 4.3. Sorry, iOS 4.3, which Apple put out. So it's kind of mm-hmm. giving you a taste of what iCloud uh, is. So all the Wi-Fi syncing you can do, Wi-Fi backup you can uh, now start to use. iTunes 3, uh, 10.3.1. They actually released 10.3, but then later 10.3.1. Some bug fixes, I would imagine. You can now download it. Mm-hmm. 